we had the pleasure of working with a client just recently. She was really great and she was excited and stoked. She goes, oh my gosh, Damien, I can't believe we had a chance to work with this person who was great. He actually did everything that I wanted. He was very collaborative. He knew exactly some of the, the projects that I worked on before. It was just amazing to kind of get to work with this person. I didn't think in a million years that I would be able to find the person that was great for this scenario in this situation. And I was taken aback a little bit by this because I told her that this it wasn't by accident. It wasn't a miracle. This was actually on purpose. I highlighted the fact that she had screened through over a hundred applicants, developed a very robust job description, and pu and put a search out there for this individual. The outcome was inevitable at that point in time. And so, what happened here? What was the difference? What we did in this scenario is emotional anchoring. What emotional anchoring is, is that you create an outcome that you want and desire. Not only you want and desire, but you describe the emotions and feelings that, that evokes of something that you want and desire. In this case and scenario, she was hiring for a project manager that she wanted for her company. But what did that project manager look like? What was this avatar, what we create, what we call an avatar was the, the outcome, the most ideal candidate for what we want. And so we use words like collaborative, initiative, organized to help evoke the feelings that helps us to describe what this person would look like and feel like. And once we do that, we can create jobs descriptions around that. And then from that, that will lead us into the actions and behaviors that are looking for these persons. And so not only that, the benefit is that when we put a job description out there, we are stating these words, this is the type of people that we're looking for. And so this increases the chances that you're going to look for and connect with the people that also resonate with these emotional anchors. And so therefore, when we come across these people, it just makes sense. It is in alignment towards what you truly want and desire. However, most often we see traditional HR job descriptions and postings out there was just a list of skills, the things that you want, but not really articulating and describing the sensations and experiences that you want out of that position. And from that, if you don't do that, then how do people know what you're looking for? So what often we hear is people look for red flags. These red flags are the things that you don't want. But how much do we look for green flags of the things that you do want? I think this is more important than the red flags because then you're maximizing and optimizing for the outcome, what we call like creating a bias towards that out outcome. And so let's face it, we're human beings, we're going to have the biases one way or the other. So why not bias ourselves to an outcome of the type of person and team that you really truly want? So give this a try creating this emotional anchors to develop your own job description and source out where you're going to type, uh, try to find these types of people. Hopefully this can help you in your company, in your lab, in your research, and in discovering the teams that can resonate with your, your vision of what it is to be in your company.